and welcome to Pushchair Expert. Today, Kelly and myself are going to be looking at egg and egg too. We're going to compare them and show you the differences. So Kelly has got the original egg. I do, in diamond black. And I have got the new egg too in monument grey. So let's start with the carry cots. And we can already see, can't we? Whose is higher? higher. Egg two. Yeah. yeah, it is a lot higher, so a lot easier to see baby. Anything else we need to look at on our carry cots? Hoods. Hoods. Let's have a look at the hood. Now, have a look at your hood. Mine. Yep. Egg two, we now have the ability to lift the back up to add the ventilation in there. So great, great uh, improvement. Yeah, great for the, hood. the warmer months and then also if you use it in the house as well for overnight sleeping. Exactly. So if we move our push chair sideways, we'll be able to see the size of our carry cots. Who's going to win? Egg? Egg two. Egg two again, I'm afraid. Egg two has won. We've got a larger carry cot. Both carry cots are suitable until little one is round about six months and nine kilograms. But egg two, one of the big improvements is the size of the carry cot. We've now got a bigger carry cot. While they're sideways as well, you'll probably be able to see um, the difference in the handles as well. So we've got it both on the lowest setting. Mm -hmm. um, should we put it up to the highest setting? Yep. So if I put them next to each other here, which has got the highest, Kelly? Yeah. Egg or egg two? Egg two again, slightly different angle and also does grab it further. Yep, so egg two, you've got the option to have a higher handle there. So taking our carry cots off, the original egg, Two hands, press down on two buttons and lift up and then transfer over to carry with the handle. Okay, egg two, let's have a look how we're going to take this one off. Little handle at the back with one hand, lift oh, much and which one wins for easiness? Egg two. Egg two, so great improvement there as well. While we have got our naked chassis as we Love like that. to call them, naked chassis. Um, let's have a look at the wheels. So our back wheels, it'd be very hard for our camera to see. Which one has the biggest wheels? Egg one, uh, egg or egg two? So egg two is bigger, um, but also slightly slimmer as well. So egg two has got bigger wheels and slightly slimmer. Yep. The bigger the wheels generally is going to give you a better ride. We've still got the same technology, haven't we, from egg onto egg, egg two. True ride technology. So we've got true ride technology there. Both got a good suspension. Yep. As you can see, something that is carried over onto egg two. Basket size. We lift up, they can see. Because it's got a slightly elongated chassis on the egg two, it does give you a bigger basket. So which has got the biggest basket? Egg two. Egg two. Lots more space for our shopping. Yes, definitely. Should we fold? Yeah, let's fold. So both of them, you're going to rotate your handle towards you and drop it down to the ground. Both egg and egg two have the same kind of clasp at the bottom. Yep, the left hand side. So they just lift up nice and easily like that. I'm just gonna lock mine here. We've got a slightly different lock on the egg two. So instead of having your curve lock, here we've got a straighter lock. Stop and start. Put your wheels out. Pop my wheels out, thank you Kelly. And there we go, it stands. Now, both of them on your handle have got your little rubber rings, haven't yes. you? But, however, if I turn this one sideways, which hopefully our camera will be able to see, the egg too, your handle doesn't sit on the floor. So it's about an inch off the floor. So keeping it nice and clean and nice and dry. Which do you prefer? The one that the handle is on the floor. Yeah, so egg two, definite win there. So same idea for unfolding our chassis. Clip is on the front of this one. Where it's on the back on the original. So two stage unfold. So pretty close really, isn't it? Yeah. To with regards same to speed. that. Same speed. So let's get out our seat units. Mm -hmm. Do it with parent facing first. Yep. So we'll start off with our seat units parent facing. Now your seat unit for both of these, whether it's egg or egg two, is suitable from six months, okay? If you want to use your seat unit from birth, you are going to need for either of these the newborn insert. So let's have a look at the canopy. So both got similar size canopy. 
Oh, but look at egg two. Show off. I know, I know, I'm just showing off. So egg two, you can pull this bit back and you've got your ventilation there. So on those hot days, it's a lot better to have that ventilation. Or when you've got it facing the other way as a peekaboo window. Indeed, oh, hang on, I've not oh, got sorry. it facing the sorry. other way. <laughs> so recline on them, both of them, little handle at the back and you can recline them down. If we turn them sideways, you'll be able to see the seat size. Which has got the biggest seat? Egg two. Egg two. So She's quite, winning. I am winning here. I knew I'd win though. <laughs> so obviously there has been some improvements from egg, which was very, very popular, onto your egg two. We do have a larger seat unit. <clears throat> so if we sit them up, taking your um, seat unit off to turn it world yep. facing, we've got exactly the same mechanism on egg we one do. as we have on egg two. line it up here. So if we turn them around this way, I think you can really see how much bigger your seat unit is on the Egg 2 compared to the original. So it comes with a new liner, longer foot muff as well, and apron. Yeah, everything is bigger on your Egg 2, isn't it? Yeah. So with regards to your apron, as you can see, <coughs> slightly different shape. Okay, we are slightly longer on your Egg 2. Slightly different shape, so a little bit wider at the bottom, perhaps give older children a bit more room. There, if we take our liners off, mm. our aprons off. And now we can really see our seat units here. So, both of them will come with a liner on, but um, your liner on your egg too is slightly bigger. And also both liners are reversible, so fleece on one side, cotton on the other. You've still got your flap though, I think, haven't you? Yep. There you go. So you've still got your pocket. Yep. So one of the features that parents really loved on the original egg was your secret pocket down at the bottom, and they have carried that feature over to egg two. You've also, on both of them, got your adjustable calf rest. So if little one wants their legs a little bit more supported, you can do that. Same bumper bar? Yep, little button, gate opening bumper bar on both. What about it when the little one gets older and you want to change the height of your straps? Easy. Yes, this is where the magic comes in. For you, it is easy. So I would have to re-thread my harness through. Oh look, I've done mine. Whereas you, oh, look, you're already there. Yeah, whatever age child, up and down. <coughs> This very, very clever mechanism at the back. So a little bit like a lot of car seats are for changing the height. All you do is squeeze, pull down for your younger child, pull up for your older child. And then this little cover at the back is magnets so we keep the nice line of the egg. So once we've got the world facing, we've got our canopy on egg two, with our ventilation but also our peep hole, so we can keep an eye on little one if we would like to. So that's a quick overview of egg versus egg two. It has to be said at Pushchair Expert, we like the improvements. Egg we has do. always been very, very popular in store and online, but now we've got egg two, we really love the improvements that have been made. It's all down to feedback that's gone back to egg from customers and from retailers and the improvements, as you can see, we think are absolutely phenomenal. So well done, Egg.